Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawad Makes Walkthrough Videos. Today we are going to look at uh, an error message which we usually see uh, at VMware Workstation or VM when we are trying to switch on over VM machine and this normally caused when we are uh, not able to shut down the machine properly or the machine was running something happened to our laptop over uh, host machine then we get this error which says could not open file machine a virtual machine and then it would give you the path of that file and then you would not be able to switch that machine on or you would not be able to select that machine so normally the cause of this error message is when your vmx file is empty so if you look over here your vmx file is empty so for this demonstration i did it purposefully but this happens when your machine crashes, or maybe you were running a virtual guest machine and something went wrong with your host and it had to restart or something for some reason this file gets uh, empty i mean there is no content inside this file if i added this content you will see there is nothing inside so what you can do in this regard is um, what i have done over here is i have moved this copy of the file over here but i'm not going to use this file um, so the better way is if you have a copy of this file and you can move it which is not an ideal scenario most of the time you will not have this file over there so what i'm going to do is i have another windows 7 machine if you look over here and i have a vmx file over here so just to let you know this vm which i'm right now going to copy the vmx file from is running windows 32 bit operating system of windows 7 uh, and i can just copy this content and paste it into that or what i can do is i can just simply copy from here and then paste it over here in this folder all right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename this one as my old file and i'm going to use this one over here as x64 all right now what what we can do in this case is i can just reopen this file which is over here and if you see over here earlier the virtual machine name was windows 7 x64 because i have copied this content from some other machine and even if you look at the uh, if you see this these memory and uh, cpu processor etc details these have been copied from the other machine so if i want i can change them back uh, if i want i can even rename this machine uh, from uh, my task uh, fr from this bar if you see over here i can just simply rename it to the same name which i had earlier um, it would not affect anything uh, or what i can do is in this case i can just simply power it on but before that i would like to increase the ram of this machine to 4 gb for example to just uh, boot it a little quicker um, and then we'll see how does it react to uh, react to it so let's power it on now and i would need to browse to my vmx uh, uh, vmdk file which is my hard drive of this virtual machine and <coughs> i'll select copied um, because there is a difference between i moved it or copied it uh, so that is something which we can discuss in another tutorial so right now i'm going to select co i copied it and you will see that my machine is going to run just forget about this part because it says uh, cannot connect file this which is my iso i was pointing it to so i am going to start it as normally and uh, this machine is booting up perfectly normal i can just simply boot it up log in into this machine and i'm good to work with it uh, in case if i have the backup of the machine of course you can restore it but if you don't have just get the vmx file of another machine and just copy the content and change 
few things according to your requirements and then you are good to go and in just few minutes you will see my windows login page appearing in front of you over here so if you see over here i have my uh, windows login appearing over here i hope i remember the password so you can see that i am able to log in into this machine thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos please comment subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products i am talking about